Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we are back, back again in the Elm Trails. Love them or hate them, these smaller homes are continuing to be built here in the San Antonio area and people are loving the low maintenance lifestyle these homes offer. The question is, why are we back? Well, since we made our original video about five months ago, there have been a ton of questions that people have been asking us about homes like this, you know, questions like this right here, or this right here, or maybe even this right here. And we're here to answer a lot of those questions here today. So we want to start this video off in the backyard. A lot of the comments on our videos have been saying, does it even have a backyard? Yes, it does. And if it does have a backyard, how do you even get to it? So unfortunately, these homes do not have access in the house to the backyard. Which so you is... have to go out of your house and then walk around and there's a gate yeah. that'll allow you to the backyard. But as you see, there's some of these lots have actually pretty decent sized backyards. Yeah, and it's very typical, the side gates at any other home. It's just the only thing that's lacking is the actual outdoor access from the house. People have mentioned in the comments that there aren't enough windows in this tiny home. And I agree. So this is what, 600 square footage? Yep, 660. 660 square footage. And I've counted three windows in this home. But as you can see, there's plenty of natural lighting that flows through the home. And I love a good home with natural lighting because I don't like going into dark, clampy homes. It gets me depressed. There's plenty of lighting in this tiny home. And another thing that people have just been asking a ton of questions about is what would you do with the room that's upstairs or the space that's upstairs, the extra little hallway that goes into a loft area? Like what, what would you do with that, right? Well. I mean, I really think it's, I would do a lot with it. It's, it's kind of up to you, right? Like, I feel like this room right here, there's enough room for a bed and maybe like a like an Ikea closet or a dresser or something like that. Well, you could probably build a door in this space and you could kind of close off this room if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't just because the AC, if you look right behind me, is right there and this room wouldn't be able to get any AC unless you rerouted that some way. But yeah, I mean, this definitely enough room for a bed, twin, maybe twin size bed or bunk beds against this back corner or something like that. You could use it as an office. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different possibilities here. Yeah, and this house is being advertised as a one bedroom. It's a true one bedroom, but this is totally, the second story can be your someone's domain. There's so much more space when you come up through the stairway, so it's like a little reading area. If you have animals, it could be their dog area. You just have to be creative with the space. There's so much you can do. And one of the other comments that we received talked about this house having more walls and something about more walls than a prison. What, the only thing I could guess is maybe they meant that it's a smaller space than a prison. So yeah, as you see here, a normal prison, this house is 660 square feet. It has an upstairs and a downstairs and you get a backyard. Yeah, and I've personally never been to prison, but I actually asked someone who has been to prison I showed them a tour of this home and I said, what do you think about the wall? They're like, this is definitely bigger than a prison cell. Some other comments that we receive, and we're not gonna go into the tin hat theories here, but they talk about normalizing smaller homes. Smaller homes have been around for a very long time. Even homes with one car garages, even homes with no car garage. And so, I mean, normalizing, it's just giving people other options in terms of housing. You may not always want to buy a 3,000 square foot home. We have a lot of clients that want to downsize as they get a little bit older in age and they don't want to have to maintain 3,000, 2,000, even 1,000 square feet of home. So this is something that definitely is an option for them. People actually believe or think that we built these homes and we're selling them ourselves. So we do not work for the builder. We are Texas Realtors. Texas Realtors are allowed to sell whatever homes within the area, if they have a Texas license, we can sell it. So 
in my opinion, that's what makes us unbiased. Like we're not gonna make people buy a Lennar home or another builder home. It's we can show all homes and we will, depending on the client, what they're looking for, what they like, and their price budget, we help them research and help them find the home for them. So I just wanted to clarify that because some people are like, I cannot believe you're selling these homes and ripping people off. Well, we're not making people buy them. They're actually calling us to see these homes because some people actually wanna buy a small home. So we've also gotten a, quite a few comments about there's just not being enough space in the streets. The streets are somehow just super narrow because this is a tiny home community. And you can see behind this, there's a car on one side, there's a car on another, and there's a car driving right through the middle, which is actually pretty typical of, of new subdivisions right now. They don't build these streets like super, super wide. I, I get that concern. It very, very much frustrates me when I have to, you know, wait and drive, but it's a it's a small thing. And another concern is this single pad driveway. And even though it's not a two car driveway, you can still fit a good sized vehicle. So we really hope that that answered most, if not all of the questions that have been popping up in our comment sections about these tiny homes. Right? They continue to show up on social media, all over the place, getting millions of views. And it really seems like you either hate these homes or you love these homes. And there's very few people, at least in our comment section, that stand in the middle ground. So where do you stand? Let us know down in the comments below. If we don't talk to you there, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.